I just want another brain. I really just want a second brain, like an AI second brain, one that's gonna help me make this world I live in a little bit better. I have a product for you that's gonna be able to take all of the different places where you have different ideas, different knowledge bases, and aggregate them into one AI second brain that can then let you chat with the world in any way you want, utilizing that information rather than you needing to remember all of it on the top of your head. Thanks to Text Cortex for sponsoring this video. So Text Cortex is a large language model similar to what you'd find with other ones that have come out recently. However, it has a lot more improvements on top of it. There is a Chrome extension that you can easily get by adding it to your browser. Anytime you are interacting with text, you have the ability to go into Xenochat on their product or literally just when you're typing, similar to what you'd experience with like Grammarly. If you just type on a page that has a text creator or utilize the thing from the bottom right here, you can essentially interact with text core text extremely easily. There's a built-in chatbot in the Chrome extension. You can type out ideas for some tweet storms about Notion. And when you highlight it, you'll see that there's a bunch of different options for AI to do like find action items. And this works on every single product. So if I press insert, boom, it works pretty much on top of everything. So whether it be Notion AI or otherwise, this is better because it works with everything, not just the one product you're in. Now on top of that, what's really cool is if we go to the knowledge bases here, you'll see that we have this guy right here, basic productivity advice for me. So I've created a knowledge base, which you can do by pressing new. And then following up with that, so inside of these knowledge bases, you are able to do a myriad of different things. First, you can upload a file, you can upload a web page, and as of recently, you can also update Google Drive and OneDrive files. This is extremely easy. You literally just go and click on your account, use the Google Authenticator to allow it to download and upload files to Google Drive, click embed files, and then it goes through that whole search thing. I'm sure you've seen this before, so let me just look up 10 steps to saving time. It's my ebook, which is a lot of information about how I view productivity. So I can just literally take this, press select, and then from there, the integration is gonna show up here on the bottom. You'll see that there's the Google Drive integration for my email, and you will see that the file's in here. So you can add more stuff for sure, not only using that Google Drive, but also even utilizing a web page. So let's check out some basic advice that I actually have from a concept here. My main Notion template from the Evergreen Notion workspace, and this guide showcases how like the TTP method works, which is a productivity method that I invented. So by adding both of these together, we have a lot of the basics for what makes up my productivity mind, right? So with files, you'll see that it shows up like this. Web pages, it looks like this. The Google Drive one has a little symbol like that as well. Same for the OneDrive option too. This product isn't discriminated against any options. So the product is gonna work pretty much at any company you're at, right? As this knowledge base, now we can start a chat in Xenochat and chat with the specific knowledge base in mind. So if we select basic productivity advice for me, I can say, write a condensed outline for a script on major tips for getting more work done in a day. And this is gonna base it off of the knowledge base so that I am utilizing that same messaging over and over again. So I'm consistent on my advice on productivity rather than just saying more stuff. So right now you can see it's searching in knowledge base productivity app advice for me, outline for a script, yep. And also what's really cool is that I'm using something called Dimitri Snarky, which is a persona where I've essentially just made my tone snarky because I'm one of the more snarky people in the productivity app space. And as you can see, the introduction right here showcases some of the places that it got the ideas from it. So motivation mindset overhaul, kick off with the power of motivation and how fired up attitude is the ignition to switch to productivity. So if you see right here, this is based off of part of my book, right? The book. You can see where in the book I got the info from. Dive into achieving deep states of work to transform your frustration into victory dances. That's an entire step for my chapter, achieving deep work. Habit stacking, that's an entire chapter or portion of a chapter in my ebook. 
So it basically took that web page and the ebook that I uploaded from Google Drive together to give me a basic outline for a video. And I could easily make the top 10 ways that I stay productive based off of this, because it is consistent with my methodology. It's consistent with other content that I've made. And that's the nice thing. You don't have to make content or do work a million times, right? You can just utilize information that you've already put out there and research you've already done in different ways in order to reach an audience you haven't already done. This is what I do with a lot of my content. I recycle some content concepts like the top calendar apps, the top note taking apps, and do those every couple of years because those change. But my principles for the most part have stayed the same. I really like this product. I think Text Cortex is a great option to utilize an aggregated set of information and add a lot of stuff in here, not just these small things. You can go add whatever web pages, whatever files, Google Drive, OneDrive files, regular files, whatever you need. And from there, You'll have an entire knowledge base of information that you can then do content write-ups on, do research, and even just prepare for conversations with people based off of because being well-versed in your own thoughts is uh, not as easy as it might be. As, as David Allen once said, our minds are for having ideas, not holding them. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Shout out to TextCore Text again for sponsoring this video and check out this video on how to improve your skills using productivity tools even more.